Hey there Clashers, welcome back, Willie here, and I've got a short little video here, I basically have a couple of war bases to share with you guys, it's been a while since I've shared any Town Hall 13 war bases, so I figured I'd put a few on here. Uh, right now I need to be uh, building fresh bases, we are getting into the Champions War League and I really need to be building more, so as I get rid of some of my old bases that I've used, I figured I would share them with you guys because they're still good bases. Uh, they're burned, they're not good for League Wars, but for regular wars or Clan War League, provided you're not in like Champions 1, they should be uh, fairly good to use. So I'm going to share some of those. We're still waiting to hear about Spring Update. We've heard a few things about it, we've gotten the uh, a couple of sneak peeks and we're n I'm not sure if we're going to get anything else before it drops, we don't really know when it's going to drop either, so kind of waiting to see what happens with that. I'm, I kind of think we will get some more information, like I feel like there's another part of it they haven't shared with us yet, but that's just speculation and we will kind of have to wait and see. I may do a video to recap some of that stuff. Uh, just to go over basically everything they've told us so far about the spring update. But that would be something for tomorrow tonight. We're going to take a look at these war bases. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is the first base I want to share with you. And this base has held up pretty well. It held up well in testing. And it's held up pretty well in the wars that I've used it in Crimson Fog. Uh, I am replacing it though because it didn't hold up quite as well against the top level competition so I had it I put it in WHF for testing it held up to a couple of hits but it did get tripled in testing and then it got tripled in Champions War League so this base is good it's just not good enough to be in like upper level competition so I'm sharing it with you guys it's actually a great base to run if you want to use it for Clan War League I did run it in Clan War League and it held pretty well in there it never did get tripled in that so the one hit format it definitely holds a lot better and uh, like I said regular wars uh, random matches uh, you're going to have a pretty good time with this base the CC that I like to run with this one is uh, triple ice golem because you do have the clan castle right on top of the town hall there so that's a good one and uh, let me know how this one holds for you guys if you decide to run it alright so here's base number two that I want to share this base I actually built uh, by myself from scratch, so some of the other bases that I build, I have people helping me with them. This was one of the first ones I built completely on my own. I uh, had it tested, did some adjustments, all that good stuff that you do for base building, and it's held up just fine. I'm just getting rid of this one because I've had it for a while and it's time to put something new in this slot. So this is a good base here, and I like either triple ice golems on this one, or I like the uh, Lava Hound with the Witch in there. That works out pretty well for the CC as well. Alright, so this is the third and final base I want to share with you guys. Now this base I actually did not build at all. This is a base that we seen somebody running in WHF, so one of our opponents was running it. But we hit this base like five or six times. I can't remember exactly how many times we hit it, but we, we hit it repeatedly and did not triple it. Now it was a... I mean... By the looks of it, it looks like a fairly easy base to triple, but, you know, it's symmetrical, it's got all ground bows, it's got the uh, Infernos off in islands. It looks like an easy base on the face of it, but it's actually very deceptive, so this is a very good base. So we've seen this base in war, uh, I've seen how it held, I was going to copy it down. Somebody mentioned to me that they actually had the link to this base. So I got the link from them, and I mean it's a public base, so I'm going to go ahead and share it with all of you guys. I've been running this on my my second highest Town Hall 13, and it holds amazing. It has not been tripled yet, as far as I've seen. I ran it every day in Clan War League, and I've run it in every war since then, and it's just been holding up fantastic. So this is a very good base. Uh, one of the good CCs to run in this, it was an Ice Golem Lava Hound CC when we were hitting it in WHF. I've been running Lava Hound Witch just because the ground expos there's a little bit more of a chance that the attackers are going to come with an air army so I wanted to put the witch in instead of the ice golem to help throw off uh, like dragons or something like that. But yeah this is a, a great base and I wanted to share it with all of you because it, it holds up really well especially in Clan War League. 
and regular wars so hope you enjoy this one all of those base links are in the description down below and they are in order first second third so if you want those bases you can check them out there copy them down and like I said let me know if you use any of those how they hold up all that good stuff I do hope that these bases can uh, continue to help people out in their wars so there's that and that is going to be it for this video I think that's going to be a wrap uh, like I said I will take a look at some of that spring update stuff and maybe do a little bit of video about that I mean at this point everybody knows what's coming but you know I might go ahead and put it all together in one spot for you guys and then throw my two cents in there with that as well so that would be something that would come up tomorrow but as always, if you like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, and if you want to see more Clash content, be sure to click that subscribe. I appreciate all of your support, and I will see you all next time.